Is with me right now is a special guest. This is Gabby's father, Alvin Thompson. He is joining us from Tennessee tonight. Mr. Thompson, thank you for being with us. Yes, how are you? Mr. Thompson, um, I'm fine. I want to find out how you were alerted that Gabby had gone missing. Well, I was home Saturday, and Elvia called me. I was home in Virginia. She called me and told me that Gabby was lost or whatever. And I asked her to go in her friends, and she said she didn't think so that they were going to look for her. So that was that. And With me is Alvin Thompson. This is Gabby's father. When you were first alerted that Gabby had gone missing from her own bedroom, was there any discussion at that time what may have happened to her? Well, I didn't really know she was missing from her bedroom. She just said she was she was not there and they couldn't find her or whatever. So I just I stayed up in Virginia until Monday because I said, well, maybe Gabby with one of her friends or something, although she don't run away or nothing like that. Maybe she was one of her friends or something. So I came and then I called. I sent my brother over there Sunday because he lived in Columbia. And he said it didn't look right. So I came down, me and one of my daughters and the grandkid came down Monday evening. And uh, it just, I don't know. Something don't seem right about the whole thing to me at all. Something, something not being said. Something, something just What not do you said. mean by that? What do you mean by that, Mr. Thompson? The, the whole story don't make good sense to me and stuff. You know, I, everything that's being said and, and if, if, the way I view it, the way I see this, is, it, it, even if she was talking with this guy, Freddie Grant, or they were boyfriend and girlfriend, which doesn't matter, it, it wasn't about her at this time. It was about Gabby being found. So if she would have at least said something sounded when the police supposedly came out there that, that this guy was here, then they could have just pulled his demo right off their computers, and, and this would have been, resol been resolved already, in my opinion. I'm not throwing blame at, at anyone, but... Just, just, just was like you holding back on something. That, 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 that and, and if, if my kid come up missing and I'm and I'm out with somebody, and they ask me where I was, I'm gonna tell them where I was. I, I don't care who get upset about it or whatever. I'm gonna tell them the, the exact, exactly what happened, so we can quickly resolve this and maybe I can get my kid back real quick. So it just the whole thing just don't make a lot of sense to me. You can't blame Elvia for none of this. Elvia was a, is a good mom to Gabby, for real. She really strict on her. That's why I feel I never had to worry about Gabby being a because she wasn't a problem child. I never had to worry about her because her mom was always there for her, and her mom was really tight on Gabby. She really tight on Gabby. So I would I would I wouldn't wouldn't think that she would ever have anything to do with hurting Gabby. So she, never. She, she was so unaware of all this and stuff. But we just need Freddie to tell us, because we all sit there talking, but that's still not finding my daughter. I mean, we could Mr. Thompson, blank, blank, you blank, blank. are so right. And this is a wake-up call to everybody in this country that is hearing our program tonight about people that you think you can trust.